Nigerian government says none of its citizens have been killed during the last uh, latest round of xenophobic attacks aimed at foreigners in South Africa. Galaxy's Godfrey Osimoge reports that Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyema, gave this indication Friday after a closed-door session with the Senate Committee on Diaspora Matters at the Senate building. On top of the situation, following the situation, um, we know for a fact that no Nigerian life has been lost. So we are extremely concerned now to ensure that there will be adequate compensation uh, for the property that has been uh, lost and uh, damaged. And we know that a uh, private uh, Nigerian airline uh, has, um, is putting a plane at the disposal of those Nigerians that wish to, um, to take the opportunity to leave uh, South Africa. The minister who said the Nigerian Union in South Africa is a source of information on the state of affairs of the country's citizens, said Nigeria is not entertaining the possibility of ending diplomatic ties with South Africa. On his part, the chairman Senate Committee on Diaspora Matters, Ajibola Bashiru, called on Nigerians not to take laws into their hands as government sets out to address the areas of concern through peaceful and diplomatic means. No, we're not reaching to the stage of uh, diplomatic ties called off. Um, there are various uh, options. We're not uh, by any means at the stage where we're breaking diplomatic relations uh, with, uh, with South Africa. Um, but as I said, uh, we will wait for the uh, envoy uh, to come back. Uh, there are different um, actions that can be taken at the diplomatic level uh, without necessarily breaking off diplomatic ties. The first step we take, we must look at the, uh, the, the, the advantages and disadvantages and how it will promote I mean, the interest of uh, Nigeria. Because as we, as we have today, uh, from reliable information, we have no less than 800,000 Nigerians living in South Africa. So if we want to take a decision in that regard, some of them are in businesses, some of them are professionals, some of them have uh, uh, so many, so they, have been, they have been tied to South Africans. The Nigerian Special Envoy, which is expected to hold high-level talks with the South African government, is expected back in the country by Saturday with their findings in the country likely to be the basis of the next line of action by the Nigerian government.